For reasons beyond reason, there is no toilet paper left on the shelves. While the situation continues, let's delve into the item itself. Almost fittingly, when you roll out the history of toilet paper, you end up in China. The first recorded use was during the 6th century AD. While it was probably more sanitary than the alternative, not everyone was happy about it. Scholar Yen Zuitui wrote, Paper on which there are quotations or commentaries from the five classics, or the names of sages, I dare not use for toilet purposes. In 1393, 720,000 sheets were produced. In that same year, for the Hongwu Emperor's family alone, 15,000 sheets were produced, each one of them perfumed. Each sheet was 3 feet by 2 feet, or 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Elsewhere in the world, ordinary people used rags, seashells, corn cobs, plants, rocks, or even the smooth edges of broken pottery, among other things. That is, if they could find something. It wasn't uncommon to use nothing at all. Meanwhile, the wealthy used wool, lace, or other fabric. Somewhere down the line, something changed. And it wasn't toilet paper. It was just paper. The rise of publishing led to newspapers and cheap books being used to wipe. Paper, mister? In the United States, a popular choice was the Sears Roebuck catalog. That is, until Sears decided to print the catalog on glossy paper. Several people wrote to Sears, complaining. Obviously, Sears said no. The first modern product specifically designed for wiping was invented in 1857 by Joseph Gaetti. Marketed as a hemorrhoid treatment, this toilet paper was made from aloe-infused manila hemp and packaged like a tissue box. Gaetti's name was printed on each and every sheet. Unfortunately for Gaetti, he lost out to the Sears catalog. The logic was, why would anyone want to pay for some fancy product when the catalog comes in the mail for free? Eventually, the Sears catalog would no longer be practical for wiping with the implementation of modern plumbing. Try flushing a catalog down the toilet. In 1890, the Scott brothers popularized toilet paper on a roll. The operation was far more successful than Gaetti's. They still struggled to market it since going to the toilet was still a very taboo subject at the time. The Scots were so embarrassed by the product that they waited until 1902 to take credit for it. Their company, Scott Paper, was acquired by Kimberly Clark in 1995. The earliest patent for toilet paper was in 1891 by Seth Wheeler, where it shows the roll is supposed to go over and not under. I'll let you discuss that. But the story's not over with the Scots. Until 1928, toilet paper was seen by the public as a medicinal item, but the Hoburg Paper Company changed that. They created a new brand of toilet paper called Charmin. Their logo featured a woman. This was important because instead of advertising the theme of going to the toilet, wiping yourself, and hemorrhoids, they avoided that altogether by playing off the softness and femininity that their brand supposedly represented. Later, the women were replaced by the bears we know today as the mascots of Charmin. The Holberg Paper Company changed their name to the Charmin Paper Company, and then in 1957, they were acquired by Procter & Gamble. Now, toilet paper is something vital to North America and other parts of the world. It is worth mentioning that in some parts of the world, washing is the preferred method by bidet or otherwise. In some other parts of the world, where there is no modern plumbing, newspapers, books, and catalogs are still used. Toilet paper in 2020. We'll just have to wait and see what rolls around the corner. And until next time, thanks for watching.